Hey, what's up, y'all? So, I uploaded a video called This May Be The Last Time You Hear From Me. And some people were like, damn, man, you had me scared. And some people were like, oh, that's clickbait. <laughs> and it is not clickbait. And you should not be afraid if this was the last time you ever hear from me. I'm going to tell y'all why I said that so you understand. I talked about it in that video, but I talked about a, a multitude of uh, topics. So it probably got buried in, in one of the topics. So what I mean by that, I mean that, you know, you know, I, you know, just thinking about like time and relativity. And the more you think about it, time, what is time, right? It's not a real thing, is it? It's debatable. But time, we can talk about tomorrow, we can talk about yesterday, but tomorrow don't exist and yesterday don't exist, right? What we have, what exists is right now. You know, that's why I say y'all, uh, I live on 10. And I've told y'all before, I used to be, I used to have some dark clouds hanging over my head. So every day could have been the last day of my life of my freedom, of so many things. I was in a dark space. So that taught me to live every day like it's my last. Now, I'm not reckless with that, but I maximize my days every day. And I try to maximize my, my relationships. If the possibility of me not waking up tomorrow or getting in a car accident or whatever or you is imminent it could happen something could happen to us one thing that will happen to me and you everybody is you will die one day it's gonna happen you can't avoid that so none of us know when that day comes we can eat as healthy as we want to eat but when that day comes you can't stop that right so I choose to live my life like today could be my last. And when it comes to people that, I, that are in my life, I want them to have a positive last impression about me. And when I meet you guys at expos, at gyms, wherever, I want you guys to have a positive last impression about me, you know? you guys ever lose a friend or a family member and y'all last interaction wasn't that pleasant that sucks you know what I mean it doesn't mean that that one snapshot was the definition of your entire relationship but that's not how you want to you know I just choose to live my life like that like I want the last thing that you heard from me being something Either that make you laugh, put a smile on your face, or, or, or made a light bulb go off over your head, or motivated the fuck out of you, or something. Some kind of, some kind of positive chemicals in your brains have been stimulated because of me. I w Maybe that's my ego, I don't know. But I want that, you know? I want to bring, I want to leave a positive imprint in people's lives. So, something I've been practicing is if I'm about to leave, like, I don't get mad anymore. So I used to get mad, grumpy all the time. That doesn't really happen anymore. And when I do, when, when I am aggravated, I'll recognize it and I'll try to reverse it and try to bring a laugh or a smile out of it. You know what I mean? Just don't take it so serious. You know, it's a new me. It's not a new me, it's a growing me and evolving me. We all should, should be growing. But, um, but that's it, that's what that meant. So, to answer some of your question is not clickbait. It's true. This could be the last time you ever hear from me. That's crazy to think about. Think about it in your own life. With your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your homie at the gym, your teacher, whomever. Each interaction you have with anybody could possibly be the last time they ever see you. If everybody thought like that and everybody wanted to leave something positive on somebody for their last time, yo, you make a lot of people happy and you'll be a very happy person yourself. It's something to think about.
You don't gotta do it. It may be difficult to just dive in, but just try it. Just try it. You get better and better and better. And over time, that's just who you become. If you last that long, I'm fucking with y'all. Anyway, just wanted to explain that to y'all because I didn't want y'all thinking that I have any morbid thoughts. I don't, death to me is not a morbid, twisted thing. It's something we live, we die, you know, who knows what's next. All right, peace.